the ghosts of the bush. I've actually never heard Kudu being referred to them as that, but I'll take it. We've got two, and I suspect that there's a third one around here because I think they're the same Kudu that we saw this morning. We had a very, very quick glimpse of one of them, and we're not too far off from where we had them, and I don't think that it's necessary that especially the kudu and impala at the moment, they don't have to travel far distances to find food because there's still lots of nice lush leaves on all the trees and that's what they're typically feeding on, especially at this time of the year. We often see them nibbling the new shoots of green grass once the rainy season has fallen upon us, but not, not just yet. We've still got a, a little bit of way to go. I can hear lots of ox peckers in the distance. But it might be because of the impala. There's lots of impala scattered in between these beautiful kudu. They are looking so wonderful at the moment. It is very nice to see them. And now the birds are also starting to sing. So the bush is starting to liven up a little bit. Isn't that great? See those beautiful colors amongst the orange and yellows and greens of the bush? Stunning. And he's a, he's a boy, it looks like he's been around for quite some time. Lovely set of horns. It's so pretty, just ruminating now. Now, James, you said you also love the winter colours. There's nothing quite like them. It really is the prettiest time of the year in the bush. I always say this, I think all of us say it, nobody disagrees with that. It's nice to see all the green, of course, and the rainy season of, is, is better to see birds. That's a fantastic time. And they stand out so nicely against the green vegetation too, especially something like a lilac-breasted roller. Look at that. What are you feeding on a leadwood? Can't actually see what it is he's eating. No, not a leadwood. Spike thorn. Now, Izzy, you say that the horns are beautiful. They are. Look how big those ears are, too. Look at that big nose. Quite a big tongue as well. Something that you don't often get to see with the animals, other than the cats and the giraffe. We see them showing their tongues quite often. They must have incredibly hard lips as well. And if you think about it, could you also like to feed on thorny vegetation? So it must be quite tough skin. Now, Paula, you're wondering how long can a kudu's horns get? Well, this, this fellow here is of medium size. The one that we saw earlier, he's a big boy. Um, I think typically it's just over a meter or so. I'm trying to remember the world record now. You might be able to help me out, but I think it was just shy of one and a half meters. I don't want to say 1.4 something. Maybe someone can pull it up and, and have a look, but it's absolutely massive. Really, really, really big. Especially imagine if when you, when you straighten them out, how big they'll actually look. Hey, you just photobomb us. You see that, Craig? He just ruined your shot <laughs> coming in like that. It looks like he doesn't care though. I don't blame him. No, and also standing behind that leaf does not conceal you. Oh yes, eat it. Look how gentle they are as well. Just picking one leaf off at a time, not being too greedy. And again, just like the giraffe and most of the antelope feed, they don't stay feeding on one tree for a very long time. They're constantly moving with all, all the tannins that are that have, of course, passing through all of these plants. Isn't that beautiful? It's so peaceful, I can't even hear them moving around. That always just amazes me, and some days you forget about it, but when you sit in a sighting like this, and you realize how quiet these animals have to be, and they do, they have to stay quiet to survive. The noisy animals don't really stay alive for too long unless you're a dominant predator but if you're on the m food menu such as something like a kudu or an impala or a nyala wildebeest zebra you need to make sure that you don't make too much noise right let's go and see what else we can find <laughs> 